today's video, I am touring the Bristow. Now the Bristow is a Clayton home. It's out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugov, South Carolina. I can't wait to show you this home. Let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, so as usual, we're going to take a look at the exterior of the home before we get into the interior. And one of the reasons that I do this is one thing that we imagine when we're looking at a house is the curb appeal. What is it going to look like from the outside? What are people going to see when they initially pull up to the house? Or how am I going to feel about the house um, when I'm looking at it from the outside. So I'd like to give you a good idea of how many windows are in the house, um, what the vinyl will look like that you kind of imagine. Now this house has been on site for quite some time and the trim under the bottom might be falling maybe from wind or weather, um, etc. So this isn't necessarily the trim that you would get. This is just to make it look nice to somebody coming to view the home for the first time at the actual facility. Most people either get a vinyl skirting or they get a brick or a concrete underpinning. And so you can decide what you're gonna like best or what your budget will allow when you come out to view the home at the facility. Another thing I wanted to add is this isn't the type of facility that people normally come and pick the home off the lot the homes that they have is just to give you kind of an idea of what they have most people that shop at this particular facility which is factory home select actually custom um, order their homes to fit what they like so that gives you just a little insight let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the house so you can know just what the home will look like for you All right, so this is your view when you enter the home. This home has to be a sister or a brother to the Morocco because it has the same trim, um, same color cabinets and, and, and uh, design wall, and I absolutely love it. This is your entryway, you guys. You can just imagine how you would fix this up, whether you even create a separate entry space like they have here you have this design wall right here that um, mirrors the color of the cabinets which is always nice I'm not sure if I would put my um, make that the feature wall or if I would put my TV on the wall behind the couch it just really is up to you and what your decor um, favorites are but it's a nice open space and you can see into the dining room and the kitchen and it has some big furniture in here so that kind of gives you an idea of just how big the space is I know it's not always easy to tell when you're viewing on video so that you know the size of the furniture really helps you have a nice size dining room enough space for a big uh, table here you have sliders that you can walk out onto your deck so you can imagine what size deck you would use in there i actually love the color of the flooring in this house it's almost like a caramel um and it mirrors or matches the color of the cabinets nice neutral natural tones in this house love the color of the cabinets these are actually the color of the cabinets that i have in my house i love the black hardware and pulls on the uh on the cabinet doors uppers and lowers your sink is actually in the island on this one so you can decide if that's something you like or not um what i love when the sink is in the island is if it's a great big island right so you have enough space that the sink doesn't interfere you have black appliances in here nice big oven in the stove this is a frigidaire i have this particular stove but i you know now um, if I replace my stove, this is the exact stove that I have. I would get the flat top, the ceramic cooktop. Uh, my aunt had one and I love it because you can turn on either the large burners or the smaller burners in the middle separate. And I love that. You can really um, control your cooking with it. So very good. 
this is a uh, a lot of pantry space around the stove which is always a plus especially in a home that doesn't have a pantry you actually have additional storage space in here so that is always nice this is a refrigerator that they have in here you can decide if you want this refrigerator or if you chose another one but you've got plenty of storage space around the refrigerator for all your snacks and goodies if i had one critique about this pantry space is i like two shelves instead of that open space but you can always create space in these areas right they have tools that help you create additional space you have this butler's pantry right here nice storage and open shelving in this area really pretty and you have a window in here which is always nice so it's an additional window that you could open when you're cooking or just to let the fresh air in you can also um, use this as additional storage since you have the storage space around the refrigerator i would probably use that area for maybe uh, cleaning supplies and things like that and then you have a coat closet right at the back door that also has um, storage space in it. So really nice. And then of course you have your laundry area right here. You can put your washer and dryer on either side and have space for, for um, laundry detergent and uh, folding and also storage space on the top. And this is a bonus. Through the laundry room, you can get in the main hallway, but we're not gonna explore from here. I'll go back through the kitchen and then I'll show you that hallway in its entirety from the living room. I just love the openness of some of these houses. This one is no different. You've got so much space to decorate as you like and you've got so much room like a lot of times when a house feels small it could get to feeling junky and overcrowded but this house has a lot of space and a lot of surprises so um this is the additional bathroom it's in the hallway it's the first room that you get to it's a cozy little bathroom but it's got storage space under the sink and you've got a, a tub and shower combo right here behind the door so really nice again this is additional bathroom number one uh and it is the first room you see so this would typically for me be the the laundry room that my guests would see that are oh, excuse me the bathroom that my guests would see when they're visiting the home now to the right here this is a surprise so you have a bonus room here in the middle this could be like a children's area because on either side of the bonus room you have a bedroom and it's off the hallway so it's not open to the hallway it's like a section of its own so again this is a bonus room it could serve as a kids hangout area it could be a classroom it could be a man cave it could be a multi-purpose room it's really your choice love um the coziness of it because it's off the hallway and kind of off to itself so think about what you want to do with this room again i could see if i had two older children they had their own rooms one on either side and then this could be their hangout room all the kids hangout room or it could be a family room or a den as well and then you have bedroom number one right here nice size bedroom no carpet in this bedroom again love the floors in this house absolutely beautiful you have your closet right here and it's a nice you could actually put up to a queen size bed in this room so really nice Give you one last look at this particular bedroom and then across the bonus room on the opposite side of the bon bonus room is another bedroom now i feel like these two bedrooms even though they're shaped different i feel that they're the same size um another nice size bedroom i believe this one uh has the cubby in the back but what i appreciate about this bedroom is that you can enter from that bonus room really nice here's the standard closet right behind the door you can enter from that bonus room but off of this bedroom you also have another bathroom so 
So right here is another bathroom. Now here's where it gets interesting, you guys. Again, this is the second additional bedroom. It's on the other side of the bonus room, but, but this one has another bathroom. So you have a sink right here, and then you have lots of cabinet space right there okay just wanted to step back and let you take a look at that lots of counter space okay and then behind the door we'll go ahead and open that door you have the toilet and you have a tub and shower in a separate room in the bathroom okay so that's what's behind that door very nice but if you keep going through the bathroom, then you end up in another bedroom. So this is additional bedroom number three. And again, these bedrooms typically, they look about the same size. If I have the specs, I'll put them on the screen for sure. There's the closet to this bedroom. So far, we've seen three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And then, we didn't go back through the bathroom we're gonna go through another door and here's another bonus room so what would you do with this room this room doesn't have a closet okay so it also could be used as an office a man cave a, a, a play area a school room just whatever just you went want. through a maze really really feel like we just went through a maze so let me explain as you walk down this lot on hallway, you've got bathroom number one, okay? It's a full bathroom. Across the hall, you've got a bonus room, family room, den, children's playroom, multi-purpose room, whatever you wanna call it. That's in here. To the right of the bonus room is a bedroom with a closet. To the left of the bonus room is another bedroom. Now we can either walk through the bedroom the bonus room to get to that bedroom or we can keep down the hall we're going to keep down the hall next to the bathroom number one is the laundry room okay across from the laundry room again is another way into the bonus room and there is that bedroom now we're not going to go in the bonus room we're going to stay in the hall and here you have whatever you want it to be it's not a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet. It could be an office, playroom, whatever you want it to be, but you've got all of this space right here. And through this room, you've got bedroom number four, okay? So it's three bedrooms on the, this side. And this particular bedroom connects to that second bedroom with a bathroom in the middle. So th these two bedrooms are Jack and Jill and they shared this bathroom. And then the bedroom, that first bedroom off the bonus room can use the bathroom across the hall or they all can share this bathroom and the bathroom across the hall could be for guests. But I just wanted to kind of show you and talk you through what you just saw. Okay, now we're going to go back through the house and take a look at the master bedroom. I know that's what you've been waiting on to see what a house like this will provide. So you got this large area for your master bedroom. Love the big window. Lots of natural light in here. The house is already light and bright. The floors really help. And even though it has trim, the trim is a natural wood like the um, kitchen cabinets love that there's can lighting throughout this house and then right off the master bedroom is the master bathroom love the feature wall it's a darker color it makes it pop love all the space you have on these double sinks really really pretty love it you've got all of this cabinet space under the sinks which is always nice to have as much storage as possible you have that cubby hole over here you can put a uh, a bench over there to get ready you can put uh, a makeup table um, laundry area what what have you you got this nice round tub it's a tub and shower combo so you would use a shower curtain there you've got the toilet area here as a cubby 
so you can see the person but they have privacy and then you have your master closet right here and it's a really nice size master closet i could see my husband and i sharing um if we had children and had to share it's a nice space right nice size master so again this is the master bedroom the owner suite or master or primary or whatever you call it it's the same thing family again this is the bristol this home is made by clayton homes it is a four bedroom three bath it's approximately 2,280 square feet. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. It's approximately 2,280 square feet, and it's $150,668.31, home only price. All right, if you're interested in this home, it's at Factory Select Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina. All the information is in the description box. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.